This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to solo stealth the jewelry store heist from Payday 3 on a normal difficulty. The name of the level is Dirty Ice, dirty because corruption and ice because of diamonds. First, let's get the lay of the land. You've got a jewelry store on a busy street corner with two back alleys and a getaway car. Inside there's a VIP room and the manager's office. There's also a stairwell to the basement, which has a safe room where the guards monitor the cameras, and there's also a power switch, which can be used to disable some of the store's security systems. The first thing you want to do is to wait for this guy to get out of your way, then pick the lock into the back alley. This is your first opportunity to steal a cell phone. If the guard drops his phone after taking a phone call, you can search it for QR codes, which will be used to get you into the VIP room in the jewelry store. Then you wanna mask up, jump in the back window, let yourself into the back alley, take out the camera, the guard, and make sure to answer his pager before grabbing his key card. If you see this guy wandering around the back of the store, just sneak around him, he's pretty clueless. Then you're gonna to wanna to sneak into the manager's office. Hack the computer and read the clues. It'll tell you about how the basement code is stored in the VIP room and about how you're gonna to need to grab the manager if you wanna get into the workshop, which has a special machine for sorting out marked diamonds. Those are the ones you don't wanna steal. You can also search the manager's phone on the couch if you didn't get the QR codes off the guard in the alley. Then use the codes to get into the VIP room. Take out any cameras as necessary, and here's where it gets crazy. You want to do this very carefully, but open the door to the showroom, kidnap the manager, and bring her back into the VIP room where you can use her biometrics to unlock the door to the workshop. It's important you do this first because at some point she might go take her lunch break and never come back, and she's the only one with access to the workshop. After that, you want to grab the code to the basement. For me, the code was 9912. The basement has a couple cameras and a guard to take out, and here's where you can use that key card to get into the camera control room and take out that guard too. Always remember to kill guards one at a time and answer their pagers as soon as they go off. Then you can turn off the power to the security system for the display cases in the VIP room and it's time to start stealing. Pick the locks on the display cases, bag up the loot, and throw the bags in the machine that sorts out the bad diamonds. After the bags are sorted, you can stage them in the VIP room or maybe you want to store them in the back alley. After that, you want to clear a path to your getaway card. I found that the best way to do this is to wait for the guard in the alley to go away, then grab the witness and tie them up somewhere out of sight where they can't call the cops. Now you've got a mostly free path from the VIP room with the diamonds to your getaway card. As long as you avoid the clueless employee and the forgetful guard, you're clear to shuttle your bags out to the getaway car and make a clean escape. 